What is going on, my brothers and sisters of the world? I'm the Jovi Head, and I am back with, yes, it is a Battlefield 3 gameplay. Oh my goodness, it has been a long, long time since I put up a Battlefield video on my channel, and that was kind of like Chandler. <laughs> since I put a Battlefield video on my channel, and this is a, this is, it's not a really special video, but it's a different kind of video. Um, to me, I guess it's the same fucking thing to you. But this was actually a clan match with my clan versus another fucking retarded clan. And it's my clan is a 777s. And hopefully you guys are watching this video because I'll share it on our Facebook page. And I'll share it on Battle Log and everything. So if you're watching this video, this was of our clan match with AAO against all odds. And um, yeah, this was just my perspective. Obviously, if you look in the kill feed, you'll see your, your names or whatever the fuck it is. Um, this is the part one, I, ha I have part two, and I know we played on Caspian Border also, but I stopped recording because we were just raping asshole, so I stopped recording, I just have the p two parts of Capture the Flag, and this side, and then on the other side, and, um, part two will be up after I upload episode nine of Road to 100 Shootout, so after that episode, that Battlefield episode will come out, and so yeah, in our, in our, uh, in our squads, we had two of the people were engineers, engineers so we had one had a igla and one had a javelin and then we also had one recon person who whose goal was to get on the motorbikes and get behind their their flag which is where i came from running from behind their flag um one of our our recon person went and put it over there so i ran up behind them and then one person could just do whatever the hell they wanted to because they could have been medic they could have been support, they could have been engineer, whatever we needed at the time, that's what that person could have done. So it was very, very reliable for just what, whatever we needed, they could do that. So b besides the uh, the Igla, one person would have an I think I already mentioned this, one person would have the Igla and then shoot him down, one heart person would have the, the javelins, and then the recon would get the spawn beacons behind them and lock on to shit with their, with their freaking, what is it called, a soflam. And then they couldn't really do anything because that, that was just dominating right there. And so they really didn't have too much of a chance. Now what is next? What is next? What is next? So we had two squads were supposed to do that and get behind their flag. And the other two squads were defending um, our flag. So shout out to all the 777 members who participated in the victory. And usually, this was a very, very good victory, um, because we were all calm, and we, we listened to each other, and we, we just weren't screaming and all this stupid shit. Whenever we're calm, I think it's best for us to just play, whenever we play calm and don't really, like, get frustrated, our instincts will usually just take over. We, like, whenever we're collectively collected, whenever we're collectively collected, and we, we calm down and just focus on playing the game, um... Usually our instincts will just take over, and we, usually it'll turn out into a victory. And everyone did their part. Uh, this is just my even like the scoreboard doesn't really tell the story of how in clan matches, in clan matches especially, the scoreboard doesn't always tell um, the the part of who did what or who contributed what because everybody did their own part. Um, in regular matches, yeah, it usually happens where like the person on top of the scoreboard usually probably help the team the most. But in clan matches, it's not the case because obviously the person that was on recon isn't going to get as much of a score as the person who's in the tank the whole game out there blowing people's brains out with canister shells and explosive shit. Obviously, they're going to have the better score, but the person that's on recon, they may have had an even bigger part of the winning with this with the beacon that was behind enemy lines. Like, So the scoreboard doesn't really tell the part who did who did what. Um, like who did better, who was better than who. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a team win and it was very good to beat the shit out of these people, even though they quit the first time because they didn't want to play on hardcore, which I don't really understand. It was really good to return to Battlefield 3 after a long time of not being on Battlefield 3. The reason that was is because, uh, it was personal issues. My parents had put our house up for sale 
and someone had actually bought our house before we had picked out a house to buy ourselves. So when whenever they bought our house, we had to move out, but we didn't have a house to move to, right? So I stayed with my grandparents, and I kept working the whole time. And uh, my parents and the rest of my family moved away to uh, a different town that was like an hour away, probably, in my uncle's extra house that he had. And uh, I can't believe I didn't see that guy right there. And um, so that's why I didn't have the internet. I couldn't get on Battlefield. I couldn't, like, get online at all. So I had to, I had to play offline games. I still made a few videos, but, yeah, it, that's, that's the reason why I wasn't on the internet the whole time. So it is really good to return to Battlefield 3. And now that I've returned, they're talking about Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 has released all kinds of shit. They've released the trailers. They've released, like, stuff letting them know what's going to happen in Battlefield 4. And it turns out Battlefield 4 will be released on PS3 as well as PS4. So, yeah, it was really good just to return to Battlefield 3. Um, and now I will talk about Battlefield 4 more in the next episode. Um, I will not do that in this episode. But also, some other stuff that's going on. Um, I'm friends with uh, a guy who is a very, 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 very talented rapper. And we're making a mixtape right now with all my recording shit. So, whenever we do that, um, we're going to have... His name's Jam Sky Zone. That's his rapper. You can look him up on SoundCloud. And also, Nettie Parker is going to be in it. And we're going to have INV on it. It's going to be a really, really good mixtape. And uh, we're, all rec we're all recording it just like in, like, in, a, in our friend's house. And we're also doing it in a in a friggin' smoke shop, so it's like it's just a bunch of friends coming together and making music because we love to do it, and it's really gonna be awesome. I will put up a video, uh, I guess, announcing that. I don't know if I'm gonna announce it or whatever. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook, and uh, I'll let you know whenever the mixtape comes out. If you're a fan of rap, that is. If you're not a fan of rap, you probably won't be too interested in it. But we are making music. That's that's what else is going on in my life. Making freaking mixtapes and shit. It's freaking awesome. Also making t-shirts. We're doing custom t-shirts. Uh, so yeah, it's freaking, it's great. I, don't, I said freaking a lot. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this video besides uh, we raped ass. Right now we have four captures and they have none. That's pretty bad. That's actually really bad. So check me out on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at the Jovihead. Uh, like me on Facebook at the Jovi Head. You can find both of those in the description. Uh, that's how you can interact with me if you want to. Um, also, check out my NHL Road to 100 Shootout series. Um, it's for me from zero shootouts to 100 shootouts. I mean, that's kind of obvious. That's kind of like the definition of a series. So, check that out also. Uh, yeah, there's not really much else. Share it with your friends. That'd be cool if you share it with your friends and they can see it. And then they could probably share it with their friends. And that's how it all goes down. Downtown. So once again, shout out to all the 777s who contributed to this victory and all that good shit. Um, it's really fun playing with you guys. Because you're all fucking hilarious for the most part. Some of you kind of annoying. But uh, I think we all know who's kind of annoying. Yeah, I think everyone like all knows who who's annoying in general. Actually, I have no idea. Because I just sat there and tried to think of one person and I couldn't do it. But anyway, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, once again, share with your friends. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm the Jovi Head, and I am out.